Okay guys, I'm gonna do a closing market wrap video. I won't be able to get this one out until after the market's closed. So um, we're gonna go through kind of how the market closed this week. Guys, if you're new, drop me a thumbs up. I'm only getting like 250 of those per video and I've got about 3,000 on average people that are watching it. Just literally takes like half a second. Click the little thumbs up thing, helps my channel. I'll continue to put out trade ideas. And also check out my stock market technical analysis course. That course is put together at you know by the request of my subscribers i put it together for you guys to give you guys um, some training and learning how to trade this strategy and trade this market so check that out link in the description below finally um we're going to get into kind of how we're going to close but tomorrow i'm going to do a live stream tomorrow morning 9 15 9 30 ish pacific time that's about when i start those things so you'll see something pop up uh, on my channel but again if you don't get the notification, hit that little bell icon that's required to get those notifications on my channel. But 9.15, 9.30 Pacific time. Okay, triple Qs. Looks like we're gonna close with everyone guessing into the weekend. They're not gonna let us know where the market's gonna go. Couple of things on, on triple Qs. You know, we're basically right here at 309, 310-ish. You know, I suspect it's gonna close right around 310-ish here in the next five minutes. And the 317 is the area of, uh, kind of the area of support slash resistance. So right now it's resistance. We still have bullish divergence. Here, momentum's moving higher, a new divergent low. And it just tells us we don't know exactly where the market's heading next week. So they're just, you know, again, it's just undecided. So you just have to make a decision at this point. I'm gonna remain short. I'm not really gonna change anything on my positioning until I see until I see a change in character. So maybe we gap up on Monday, maybe we gap down. I don't know which way it's gonna go. So we'll just have to, uh, you know, I'm just gonna go with the, how the market's been behaving recently and we'll just stick with the short side. The main thing that I've been watching, Apple, you can see they're just holding this so far, you know, just another successful defense of the trend line which is right here, it's about 155. They dipped below it today, this morning basically, recovered it and pretty much traded above it all day. So just sitting there at support. Um, yeah, that's all I see is it's at support. Now this is where the bulls should buy. This is where they, you know, you're at support on this trend line on the daily chart. If we gap down on Monday, and that's the way I'm kind of leaning all right, again, I am remaining short, but if we gap down on Monday, it's gonna trap all this long money. And so I could see us doing that, all right? Um, so look for that, but again, you have to kind of make a decision. Now, um, let's look at some of these other trade ideas. PANW, again, I pointed this one out yesterday as a sell signal. We got the sell signal right here on that nice breakdown. I saw it breaking. When the market was impulsively selling off, I went and looked at some of these ones I've been waiting to break and they, they did break yesterday. More selling today. Looks like we're gonna close below the 200 moving average with more selling. It's just confirmation of this breakdown telling me that this should stick and we should head down to the, I've got a level of support here about 475.51. So I think that's the next stop. On the downside, we hit that, probably get a consolidation, a couple days or maybe a couple weeks worth of uh, you know consolidation, and then we're gonna continue lower. All right, so that one's down five, only four and a half percent, looking good. CACs, same deal, all right? We got the sell signal, I was kind of playing with the trend line, um, but we got the sell signal really yesterday. Here's what it looked like, and I said, okay, there's your sell signal closing below. More selling today, closing, you know, likely gonna close below the 200 day moving average, simple moving average, and just with more selling. So that's confirmation, we should head lower. So I don't see any support till we get down to about 57.80, all right? There's some decent support there for sure. So you'll wanna see, you know, we'll probably hit that, you'll probably get a bounce there. One, one or two day bounce, maybe even a back test of the trend line way up here, and then we should continue lower. The way I see it is probably bounce, run up to the 200 day, possibly pop to the trend line, and then fail and head lower. So I'll probably cover, but again, we gotta see how the market trades. You get a big gap down in the market, this thing might just gap down as well. Okay, trade idea here. Now it's not actionable, but we'll keep an eye on it for next week, car. 
This is one of those meme stocks, those mania stocks, very similar to GameStop, things like that. Car's been in a pretty solid uptrend since March of 2020. You can see support. All right, we got another tag of it there. There's another one. There's another one. We dipped below it briefly, but it was, you know, basically a bear trap. You get those sometimes. Hit the 200, it recovered. And, you know, it was kind of a signal that this was a bear trap because you got a big bullish engulfing right there as well. Okay, and you can see we're basically right there at support. So if we get a break and my earnings is out of the way, so I'm looking for a break of this trend line. You break the trend line, you're likely gonna take it out and take out the 200 day, which is down below. Now you'll probably get a minor bounce at the 200 day, but I would expect this to break and head lower. The thing I like about this, although not actionable, I'm not short this, I don't have a position here, I'm just pointing out the setup. Um, you can see we've got negative divergence now on the RSI here, okay? And then there it is on the PPO. See how price is kind of drifting higher? Divergent high right there, momentum's going lower, telling us that we're likely gonna get a break soon. So just keep an eye on that trend line break. That's our sell signal if and when we get it. Okay, so basically it just, you know, it's going to be a quick video, but it all comes down to Apple here. Apple did not break today. They held that support. So again, we got to see that break. All right. <clears throat> the market looks like it's going to break. Apple looks like it's going to break. But until it breaks, we have to just be aware that we could hold and could rally. So I'm super focused and hyper focused on this chart right here. And I need to see this Apple break. And you can see, you know, they tried to break it today, but couldn't hold and we closed, keeping everyone guessing. So that's really it. Just closing out kind of where we ended. Let me get the video out there. I'll see you guys tomorrow in the live stream. Best of luck.